Yeah. About this black mama, right, who called the police on her daughter. About that shit. Can we talk about that? Right? How do you, how do you call the most evil entity in our community for help with your cho with your child? Like, like, I'm equally pissed off with the mother of this child because in calling them cops, what she was really trying to do is get out of doing her job. Okay? That's what she's trying to do. She's trying to outsource the discipline of her child to white cops. Now, they come in there to kill her. Okay? They have no other objective. They love when they get calls to our neighborhood. It gives them an opportunity to hit their quota. So she calls this these cops. For, you in, you in Rochester. You call the police. You know the race of people who's showing up. I've been in Rochester. You know who's going to show up. So the only reason I can see for you doing that shit is you wanted them to come there and harm that child. So that's why I don't, I don't even agree with, with them giving this child back to this woman. You know, if that child is calling for her dad in a, in a time of crisis like that, she needs to be with her dad. It's obvious that there's something going on in this house where she needs to be with her dad. And that's okay. She has a father. You know, this, this, this nine-year-old is screaming on the ground. You know, I want my dad. If you had cops who gave a shit, that was a good opportunity to, to, to say, hey, let's call her dad. Sweetie, calm down. Here's a phone. Call your dad. Let's see if we can get him involved. To since y'all since y'all have been pulled into some family bullshit. But the only reason I can see calling the cops on your kid is you want them cops to come there and kill your kid. Okay. Historically, that's what white cops do. They show up. They kill one of us. So why in the fuck would you call them for help with your kid? Unless you wanted them to harm your kid. We can't do that shit. Like, we don't have the luxury of calling the police to help us with situations. This is what I was talking about this morning. You're going to have to handle the shit yourself. Unless the anger that you have in your, ch in your chest, in your heart, for your family member is unto death. Now, if the anger you have is unto death, then calling white cops is the perfect weapon. That Hey, I can totally understand weaponizing white cops to deal with somebody that you wish were dead. But to call them on your child? Uh, I wouldn't call them on another black man that I was having a fist fight with. Because, yeah, me and him scrapping up, that don't mean I want him dead. There are some of us who have layers to our anger, who understand, yeah, I'm pissed off right now, but this is not, this is not a life or death situation, okay? You only call white cops when you want that person dead. So I totally disagree with them giving this child back to her, right? And to any parent out there. Any black parent out there, let this be a lesson. Let them let the torture of this nine-year-old girl be a lesson to you. And I don't expect everybody to understand this shit. I don't expect. You know, I have daughters, right? So to hear that child calling for a daddy, and I'm on the other end of this phone, like I can every cell in my body wants to respond. When she keeps screaming out daddy like that. Like every fucking thing in me wants to reach through this phone, right? And, and just go the fuck off on them cops. Everything in me. It's the helplessness of it that's equally frustrating. But our history in this country with white cops is a very bloody, deadly history. They joined the force for one reason. To kill us. And we, as a, as a community, we have to do what the Jewish community does. They don't call the cops every time they have an issue amongst themselves. Have you noticed that? The Jewish community 
they will handle that shit themselves, amongst themselves, with their elders. We have to get back to that and stop inviting these evil ass serial killers, right? These these city funded serial killers into our into our lives. Don't even invite them into your life. Okay? Especially if it's a boy. Don't even invite them into your life. Let tempers cool down and then resolve that shit. Because the only time the only time white cops are on the side of your black son is when they're escorting his football team to a football game. After that, that is an enemy. And they need to be treated as such.